Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Spacewalks are all the rage this month as station astronauts completed the second U.S. spacewalk in as many weeks on Wednesday. Reed Wiseman suited up again, this time joined by fellow NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore for a six-hour, 34-minute excursion into the vacuum of space. The pair swapped out a faulty voltage regulator which helps control power from one of the station's solar arrays. They then relocated a number of cameras, wireless antennas, and other items necessary to prep the station for a little rearranging happening next year. And next week, cosmonauts Max Arayev and Alexander Samakutiaev get their turn to venture out on the third and final planned spacewalk of Expedition 41. Last week, we told you about an experiment on station that's using yeast to test a potential tumor treatment. This week, we're going to look at an experiment that's examining a different strain of yeast. It's actually responsible for some very common infections. Micro 8 is the latest in a line of studies using microgravity's influence on tiny microbes to better understand the effects they can have on our bodies. Scientists have discovered that while in space, certain pathogens are more resistant to traditional treatment. Gaining a better understanding of how these pathogens grow and develop into this state could lead to better treatment for infections both in space and on Earth. This week's Twitter question comes from a fourth grader who wants to know if the moon is the only place besides the ISS that astronauts have walked. Absolutely not. Spacewalks have been a part of almost every major step in human spaceflight. The first American to enter the vacuum of space was Ed White during Project Gemini all the way back in 1965, leading into Apollo with spacewalks happening both on and off the moon. Activity continued outside of early U.S. and Russian space stations like Skylab and Mir and on into the shuttle program, where astronauts worked outside the craft to repair satellites, telescopes, and of course, to build the International Space Station. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.